Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little ma mouse. This is a very easy and beginner friendly pattern and I'm also go going to show you how to sew on the ears and how to make the face, the eyelashes or eyebrows if you like to. I made what, two with smaller ears and this one has a little bigger ears so I'm going to show you also how to bake, make it with the bigger ears. You can also check out my blog for more pictures and details and also the written pattern. I'm working with rainbow yarn today from Hobby. This is not sponsored. I have two colors, one in gray and one in blue. I'm working with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and safety eyes 10 millimeter. You're gonna need a tapestry needle and scissors. The finished mouse is about 13 centimeters, 4.5 inches, I think that's it in, in, in the US. And you're gonna need some stuffing. If you want a little um, more, she's a little thicker, so you just have to add more filling materials. So we're gonna start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to make one, I have a video here. Now chain one, this does not count as a stitch. We're gonna do four single crochets in the ring. So one, two, three, and four. Now pull the ring closed, just grab here and pull. And then place your stitch marker here. We're working in continuous rounds, that means we're just gonna crochet, we're not gonna join with a slip stitch. So we're gonna do one single crochet and increase in the next. One single crochet and increase in the next stitch. And one more time. This will be the nose of the mouse. You're also going to need some pink yarn here, I forgot to mention it, but you're going to sew on the nose with some pink yarn. So now move with your stitch marker and we're going to repeat one single crochet in the next and increase in the next. You're going to repeat this three times. So one single crochet and increase in the next. And repeat this all the way around. Now move up your stitch marker, we're gonna do two single crochet and increase in the third and you're gonna repeat this all the way around. So in total three times. Also I took a moment to leave in the end here. So now you should have 12 single crochets. So now we are at round five, we're gonna do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two and three and increase here. Repeat all the way around. Now you should have 15 single crochets. Move, move up your stitch marker and you're gonna do four single crochet and increase in the fifth. So one, two, three and four and increase. Repeat all the way around. Now we're going to do five single crochet in the increase in number six. And increase here. And repeat all the way around. You're going to end up with 21 single crochet. Now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for three rounds and then we're going to change color. So I will meet you after I have finished my three rounds. And when you change color, you, it's better to do it before you, when you finish the last single crochet stitch, grab the new color. Just make the last pull through with a new color, like, like so. Now we're gonna do some increases again. You don't need your stitch marker here on the first first round. You're gonna do two single crochets and increase in the third. So two single crochets, one and two. And I like to crochet over the, the strands here. 
and then here increase in the third. Repeat this all the way around. So now you can just grab the strands here and then cut off the yarn. And now we're going to count. You should have 28 single crochets now. So grab your safety eyes. Now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Session roses 6 and 7. And be sure not to place them here because then you will see this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So about there. You can also, you know, you can place them here or, you know, however you like. Maybe higher. Okay. And two, three, four, five. So I place the eyes, eye hairs, a stretch in a row seven and eight. And I'm going to do six stitches space apart. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me show. Like so, that looks okay. And now if you want to make eyelashes, I'm going to show you how. So grab some thinner yarn, sports weight or like thinner cotton yarn where they recommend like two millimeter crochet hook. You know, in Europe we don't use this sport weight yarn system. So I try to make them also understand. So go underneath the eye here. On the back side and here where you are, um, this back part of the eye is sticking out. It's important to get here underneath the eye. So. That looks nice and then find the same place and go up there or about the same place it's better to just go in there again and then make the other lash eyelash you can also do like this or you can just put it there you have to see what you like the most I'm gonna do eyebrows on this one so I'm gonna take away this and with amigurumi it's all about those little details and if you get them right you're gonna look so much better So to fasten here, I just made a, a knot and then I cut the yarn off. So grab some pink yarn and then we're going to stitch on the nose. Be careful so you don't weave in the other strand here. And then just go back and forth. Here until you have a nice so just continue like this and uh, until you're happy but it's a good idea not to do this too much because then it will be a little bit better if you just try to do it as little as uh, possible but as much as needed gonna continue we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch for eight rounds you can also do more or less you know depending what kind of yarn you're using and what you like the most so we're gonna do I'm gonna do seven more and then we'll see I will meet you back afterwards so now we are ready with the body we're gonna do some decreases so we're gonna do two single crochets one and two and one decrease in the next and I like to do invisible decreases just go through the front loop only on the next two stitches yarn over 
and then yarn over and pull through two again. Gonna re repeat one and two and then decrease. So go through the front loop only. So repeat this all the way around. So now you're gonna add some stuffing and we're gonna do some more decreases. Now you're gonna do it one single crochet in the next stitch and decrease in the next. So one single crochet here and decrease in the next. Repeat all the way around. Now you're gonna do one decrease in every stitch. So decrease six times. And now finish off with a slip stitch and then weave in and then sew the hole closed. So. so this is how I do this. I just go to the through the front loop only on every stitch. And then pull, pull, and then just do it like so. Now we're gonna make the tail. Now we're gonna make the ear. So um, pick the same color as you did for the body for the mouse. Gonna start with the magic ring, and then you're gonna do six single crochets in the ring. Increase in every stitch until you have twelve single crochets. And now here, when you finish the last one, you're gonna change color. If you want a smaller ear, if you want a bigger ear, like on this one, you're just gonna continue with the same color and I'll, I will tell you what to do. I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next, next stitch. And then increase in the next. We're gonna repeat this all the way around until you have 18 stitches. Now if you are on the bigger ear you're going to change colors like we did on the beginning of the round. Just change it here and do two single crochets and increase in the third and repeat all the way around until you have 24 stitches. But I'm going to finish here so I'm just going to cut the yarn, leave a long tail and slip stitch in the next stitch. Now weave in also this end. You're gonna pinch here and weave back and forth a couple of times so the ear get a little pointy. Like so. I already sewed on one ear and I'm gonna tell you because my camera and my, my card was full so I had to change it. But anyway, I sewed on the one ear and bef before I did so, I placed them just after the color changed and I placed them with pins here so I would uh, determine the exact position. Just grab your yarn needle and then Just sew it on here and then afterward if you have a couple of stitches you can remove those little pins. So now we are almost done. We're gonna make the tail. So here I have my gray yarn again. And you're just gonna make a slip knot. And you're gonna make some chains. I did 25 for my mouse. So I'm just making it a little tight here.
Well, so what I do, just cut the yarn here and I just open here a little bit. So this also depends on your yarn, like so. Now, now the little mouse is finished. I hope that you like this pattern and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.